Joseph Gordon-Levitt, everyone! He's so cute, so adorable. I bet you eat pussy, but only with the crust cut off first. <laughs> Isn't that his look? Speaking of crusty pussy, I'll get to you in a second, Sybil. I, um... <laughs> I know. I know. Martha Stewart, thank you for being here. <laughs> Seriously, and congratulations on getting that Thai soccer team out of your vagina. <laughs> and into your sweatshops. That's where they are now. Surprisingly, Martha said that prison food wasn't that bad, just, you know, as long as it was clean shaven, so. She loves attention to detail. Is she laughing? I'm terrified of her. No, I, and my, honestly, Martha Stewart, I'm a huge fan. And my mom is an even bigger fan. My mom has learned everything from Martha Stewart about cooking and cleaning and withholding affection, so. <laughs> it's close to my heart. Kevin Pollack is here. Uh, such an amazing actor. Most, uh, I know Kevin as like one of the greatest impressionists of all time. I'm a huge fan. My favorite of his is um, he does an amazing Robin Williams. I, I just wish he would finish it. <laughs> yeah, okay guys, listen. All I'm saying is that we've lost a lot of greats to suicide recently and it's time we lose some okays. <laughs> Sybil's gorgeous. I'm like honored to meet her and um, and her resume is insane. Like if you look at it, it's just like model, actor, singer, you name it, she's fucked it. <laughs> I wish that one too. I don't know any of these people. Sybil, <laughs> why am I here? Ugh. <laughs> Literally, you have like no friends. Um, <laughs> Truly so cool to be sharing the stage with these badass women, Sybil Shepard, Martha Stewart, uh, Margaret Cho, I'm sorry, Don Marrera. I, I'm sorry. I thought that was... Don Marrera, I know, you sleepy potato. Tom, I love you, but how did you have a stroke on both sides of your face? Explain that. I don't get it. Dennis Rodman, what's up? Dennis Rodman. I first met Dennis just earlier tonight when he tried to sell me incense on the sidewalk. <laughs> I don't want any, okay? <laughs> Edward Norton is here. <laughs> hey, buddy. To me, like if a marionette became a boy and then that boy became an asshole. <laughs> right? He was so hot in Fight Club, right? When he was Brad Pitt. That was nuts. <laughs> now let's get to Bruce! Should. Bruce? Yes. This is a, honestly a real uh, a big personal moment for me to be here roasting my dead cousin's second favorite action star. <laughs> I know you obviously as the star of every DVD you kind of just find on the street. <laughs> obviously you had an amazing action film career until Jason Statham started balding. I'm just not familiar with action movies. I don't know, I've never seen a single one of your films consensually. Like, <laughs> it's always what some guy puts on while he's trying to finger me on his roommate's couch. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Maybe I didn't understand the fifth element and it wasn't because I'm a dumb girl, but because it's hard to follow that plot when you're fighting off a roofie and there's a knuckle inside you, you know? <laughs> just me? Oh, I loved The Sixth Sense, though. I loved, and the ending when the guy came in my eye and I didn't have to watch the rest of it, that was great. <laughs> a lot of people don't know that Bruce is a very talented musician because he isn't. <laughs> Bruce, 
Starbucks has also been very active with the Make-A-Wish Foundation, which is where they make sick kids meet you, so dying doesn't seem so terrible. <laughs> so cool. Bruce, in all honesty, thank you for having me here. You're really cool. You're so hot. And, I, and this is a special night. You really are. It's a special night, obviously. Your family's, your daughters must be so proud of their father, Ashton Kutcher. <laughs> thank you very much. Good night. Woo!